What's up guys, Sean here, Briar Home Buyers, and today we're gonna to go over the pros and cons of dealing with a buyer's agent to buy your property. So, what do buyer agents do? Uh, for us, they help get us more deals. Uh, we'll send them, the ones we work with, work with investors, uh, we'll send them our numbers and how we calculate our numbers on each rental property, and they'll go, if they see 50 properties, They'll run the ones that look like they might work through our criteria, and if the numbers work out, they'll send those properties to us. Let's say there's 10 of them. So then we'll go make offers on those 10 for those numbers to work for us. And usually we'll get about one deal out of that. If those numbers work, great. In this market, sometimes it doesn't. So another great thing about agents for us is we, we like to work with agents who allow us to be more hands-off and therefore they'll go in and do most of the negotiations for us and then we'll come in on the back end and do more negotiations ourselves. Um, <clears throat> they'll do them up front, we'll do them on the back end. Also they'll work, uh, if we're doing inspections and having bids ran on the property, they'll use their connections and ours and they'll go through and coordinate with contractors and inspectors and appraisals and the bank and they'll have all that stuff set up they'll go to the property and meet everybody there and coordinate it and get all the bids the appraisals the inspections done for us and they'll present it to the bank so well the ones that we work with they allow us to be a little more hands-off so they add a tremendous amount of value to our company and what we do with our rental portfolio uh, what's it gonna cost you so since this is a buyer's agent uh, the selling agent will usually, no, the seller, will usually pay for all the real estate commissions. So if you have 3% commissions for a buyer agent and 3% for a selling agent, uh, that's 6% total. And then the, the seller of the property has to pay those commissions. So for you, as the buyer, you don't have to pay for any of those commissions unless your agent isn't good at negotiating and they make you pay those commissions for the seller. Don't do that. That's usually a bad deal for you. Um, you're paying for it when you purchase the property. It just comes out of what you pay the seller. Um, also, some things that you may pay are closing costs, which aren't associated with the realtor themselves, but you may pay realtor uh, fees. So Depending on what company you work with, you may have to pay fees. Uh, it could go towards marketing, uh, anything else that they have to deal with to run their company. Um, just be aware, fees may be involved. Uh, that's typically the only thing you're gonna have to pay. Uh, what's the benefits of working with a buyer agent? So the buyer agent typically knows uh, a lot about the local market. Uh, they're actually experts in the local market. We defer a lot of our knowledge or questions to them and then they answer questions for us and give us a better understanding of what's going on in the market. Uh, we lean on agents a lot in our business so that we can get more, I guess, knowledgeable information from them. Uh, they have a lot of connections too. So the ones we work with, uh, they help us with connections. We'll give them leads and in exchange uh, They'll give us like contracting referrals, they'll give us lender referrals, uh, anything that's involved with the real estate process, they will give us referrals of who they think are the best ones in the industry or who they've heard are the best ones in the industry. Uh, that can be a big game changer for what you're trying to do within real estate, whether that's getting just work done in your primary house or fixing up and buying rental properties or flipping. So. Lean on your agent, they have lots of connections and they know the market really well. Uh, what are some downfalls if you are having to use a buyer agent? Uh, really not a lot. Uh, they work for you, but the selling a or seller of the property pays for them to work for you. So basically you get somebody to work for you for free with the exception of fees that you may have to pay. Uh, sometimes you don't even have to pay those. So Basically, you're getting somebody to work for you for free. Uh, it's a phenomenal thing. Uh, it benefits you greatly, and it benefits them greatly as well. That's their life and blood, and that's their cash flow. Uh, that's what they do. So, yeah, take advantage of 
buyer agents, don't take advantage of them. Use them. Uh, use a lot of them. Uh, sometimes they may ask you to sign exclusivity agreements. Don't do that because if you uh, are working with one that isn't very ambitious and is not sending you properties and working hard for you, but another one comes in and sends you a property and you go buy that property, this one has exclusivity agreement with you and you have to pay them the commissions. Uh, I don't know how that works on the back end if you, uh, I guess, go around them. I've never done it. Don't sign exclusivity agreements, just word advice. Uh, you can do what you want. But if you need help finding properties uh, off market, give us a call, fill out the form below, uh, get on our list to receive the properties that we find that are off market. Uh, you can find that form on our website or give us a call. Uh, but thanks guys.